In this video, let us solve problems based on construction of frequency polygon without using histogram. So now, construct a frequency polygon for the following data. Age is given in years, 0 to 2, 2 to 4, and so on, and frequency is given 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on. So as we know, the first step is to obtain the frequency distribution, which we have. The second step is to compute the midpoints of class intervals. So let me write here itself, the midpoint of 0 and 2 is 1, 2 and 4 is 3, 4 and 6 is 5, 6 and 8 is 7, 8 and 10 is 9, 10 and 12 is 11, 12 and 14 is 13, 14 and 16 is 15, and 16 and 18 is 17. So now, we need to plot the points xi, fi, that is, these are the x, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17. These are the x and these are the y's. But before we can plot, of course, we need to draw mutually perpendicular straight lines, and this being x-axis and this being y-axis and this being O. On the x-axis, we've got age in years. And on the y-axis, we've got the frequency. So now let us plot the points. Age is given. We need to write the midpoints. 1 to 17, that is. So here is 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, and 17. So here we've got. And... As you know, we need the midpoints, so let us have another one, which is 19. And since we start off with 1, we need another class interval. So let us take it in the negative side, somewhere here, that will be minus 1. This is minus 1, this is 1, this is 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, and 19. And on the y-axis, we've got the frequency, which is 2, 4, 6, and so on. So the highest is 9 and the least is 1. So let's just count 1 to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So let me write the same. So here we are. So now what do we have to do is we need to plot these points. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9 comma 9 11 comma 6 13 comma 5 15 comma 3 and 17 comma 1 and just join those points and there we are with a frequency polygon without using a histogram so now let's start plotting the points 1 comma 2 1 on the x axis and 2 on the y axis so 1 comma 2 is here i'll just put a dot 3 comma 4 is here and 5 comma 6 is here. Please use graph sheets and be as accurate as you can. This is just an approximate representation of the way you do it. So here we have 7 comma 8. Here is 7 comma 8. Then we have 9 comma 9s. It just takes a bend if you can see. This goes straight and it takes a bend. And we have 11 comma 6. So 11 comma 6. Oh, it's falling suddenly just goes all up takes a bend and falls down and we have 13 comma 5 so 13 comma 5 is further low which is here and then 15 comma 3 is quite low and then we have 17 comma 1 so which is just about here so now let us join these by using line segments i'll use black for this so here are our line segments So this one should go and join the 19 because that's the midpoint of the next class interval. And this one is going to go and join minus 1 because that's the midpoint of the next class interval, the imagined class interval, if you remember. And now let us write here what all these are. 1, 2, 3, 4. This is 5, 6. This is 7, 8. This is 9, 9. This is 11, 6. This is 13, 5. This is 15, 3. This is 17, 1. 
and this is 19 comma 0 and not to forget the imaginary another imaginary minus 1 comma 0 so here we have the frequency polygon without using a histogram it's as simple as this all we have to do in a nutshell is to find the midpoints of the class interval and make a pair of points using the midpoint of the class interval and the frequency and plot those points on the graph and then join those with the line segment and there we have a frequency polygon without using histogram